Most of us will recognize a wide range of animals when we come across a nature documentary. We might mix up our crocodiles and alligators, but we can at least put the B in biology, even a B plus. But today's creatures are from the deepest, darkest corners of the zoology department. Some are rare species, some are unique discoveries, and some are just plain weird. Our favorite creature here at the Hub is the three-toed subscribe button. They're small, red, and they normally live just below video windows. They feed off delicious clicks, so if you can see one, please make sure it doesn't go hungry. Jag lions. Scientists like to put life into neat little categories. Animal, vegetable, mammal, reptile, unicorn, you know, that kind of thing. But it's never as clear cut as you think. The jag lion is a beautiful example of a hybrid animal where two different species mate and create a crossbreed. Large cats are actually one of the most common groups where this happens, both in the wild and in captivity, with ligers being the largest of all cats. The black leopard print of this jag lion called Jazara from Canada's Bear Creek Sanctuary is probably our favorite though. She looks like a leopard ninja. Villella Villella. We're used to finding weird things on the beach. They're normally bright pink and wearing bathing suits that are too small. But when these little blue aliens washed up on the shores of California in 2004, they freaked a lot of people out. They are a type of cnidarians, which include corals and jellyfish, and they are called Valella Valella because one Valella just wasn't enough. They have a soft blue base and they float on top of the sea, half in and half out of the water. Their special power though is having a small triangular sail they can use to catch the wind. They're not the best sailors though, and mass strandings happen across the world, sometimes covering hundreds of kilometers of beach, making it look like some kind of avatar massacre. Goblin shark. Another sea creature, but they are unlikely to ever meet, as we have to leave the beach and the sea surface and head right down into the deep sea. The goblin shark is like the embarrassing brother that other normal cool sharks don't like to talk about. It's creepy, it's ugly, and it's really bad at sports. Well, it's really slow, so that's basically the same. We don't really know a lot about these 12 foot long bottom dwellers, other than the fact that they have extendable jaws for feeding on prey, and possibly for smooching. Sri Lanka frog mouth. Even though birds are basically tiny dinosaurs, you generally know what you're getting. There's some broad wings attached to a little head and body, and then some kind of beak attachment depending on what it eats. The Sri Lanka frog mouth is all wrong. Like someone ran out of bird parts and started using whatever they could find. The only way to explain it is if an owl somehow made it with a sloth. That would make sense. I mean, there'd still be questions, but well, you know what I mean. Glowing cats. Cats are secretly plotting to overthrow their human masters. We all know it deep down. This is why some scientists have used genetic modification to make kitties that glow in the dark. We need to see what the little troublemakers are getting up to. It was actually part of a research project to protect cats from the feline form of AIDS, and the glowing jellyfish protein was so they could easily mark cells under a microscope. But we all know that 90% of the research time was spent naming the cats. DJ Technomau? Pause fluorescent? More suggestions in the comments, please. Eight-legged goat. One unique animal that was fabulously named was a mutant super goat. Born on a farm in northeast Croatia, the little kid had an underdeveloped twin sibling and they are fully joined, having both sets of sex organs and eight legs. So what did the media nickname this genetic miracle? Billy the Squid. That's good, right? It's unclear whether the goat survived as doctors did not give it much hope of living more than a year or so. Tardigrade. Also known as water bears and moss piglets, tardigrades are one of the most incredible creatures that exist on Earth thanks to their supernatural survival ability. To help you get a picture, here is a list of things that won't kill a tardigrade. A few minutes over 300 degrees Fahrenheit, a few days at negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,200 times atmospheric pressure, 10 years of dehydration, a thousand times the radiation that would kill a human, being in space, and lastly, though it's not proven, a red Mario shell to the face double-headed snake. Some people may try to tell you otherwise, but snakes are definitely evil, and the world would be a better place without their sneaky tongues and arrogant lack of legs. But as if they weren't bad enough already, occasionally a mutant snake is born, like this two-headed cobra discovered by a snake breeder in China. Each head is fully autonomous, and they don't exactly show a lot of brotherly love, since they pull in opposite directions and occasionally try to eat each other. See? Pure evil. Gold glittery seahorses. 
If you think that people who match outfits with their dogs are bad enough, then you are probably not ready for the future where you'll be able to breed a cat with hashtag lol printed all over its fur. The first step along that path was in 2008, when Vietnamese geneticists injected actual grains of gold into seahorse egg cells, along with a jellyfish gene that produces its own length. These glittery little gold creatures became very valuable, and showed that just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Remember that next time you spot a tattoo parlor opposite the bar you're in. B. Hummingbird the range in size in the animal kingdom can be mind-blowing, especially when you think that the blue whale and the mouse must have had some common ancestor if you went far enough up the family tree. The bee hummingbird is one of those creatures whose size seems unreal. It's the smallest bird in existence and really isn't much bigger than a bumblebee. They live exclusively on the islands of the Caribbean, where they dart around like a jewel with wings. Their eggs are the size of a coffee bee. You'd better find some tweezers if you want to make breakfast. Who knows what strange and unique creatures are still out there, waiting to be discovered? Mankind seems pretty confident about how well we've explored the planet, but when you realize that you don't even know what your next door neighbor looks like, perhaps we're not as observant as we think we are. But if you do have a love of discovery and exploring, make sure you hit subscribe on the way out so you never miss another adventure with the hub. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.